Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. I had to take a moment to just, even in, as this is loading up, I normally try to cut out the, uh, the loading screens, but this loading screen is so worth it. I see that you have made three spelling mistakes. Thomas de Mahay, Marquis de Favre, French aristocrat, his last words upon reading his death sentence before being guillotined. I mean, granted, he was being killed, right? He doesn't get the final say here, but what a way to go out like a boss. <laughs> just to look over at their, at, their, at their sentencing form, and he's just like, Oh, look, you are as uncultured and uncivilized as I thought you were. <laughs> granted, that's why they were killing him. Because of his uh, pompous, arist aristocratic attitude towards the uh, the people, but what a way to go! <laughs> if I get murdered, I want to be able to just have a snappy versus that person, right? So Sweden doesn't like that I'm entering their territory. Too bad. Here we go. Discipline is the soul of an army. It makes small numbers formidable, procures success to the weak, and esteem to all. George Washington, first U.S. president. So what am I doing out here in Sweden? I'm sick and tired of being uh, shut into Copenhagen. I need to I need to expand. I, I'm taking a chance. I know the Austrian army can just roll right on into um, Copenhagen, but you know what? I'm not just going to sit there and wait for the end to come. I'm marching my army out in the only direction they can, they can go. They can't reach the Austrian army because of a blockade on that side of Copenhagen, but I can leave Copenhagen and go into Sweden. So I'm making a blitz. I'm making a blitz to Stockholm is what I'm doing. Um, the Swedish army has decided to meet me in the field. Oh, freaking K. All right. I am being attacked, which means I get to pick where they assault me from. They may have demi cannons and sackers, and if that's the case, I want to deploy back. Um, wait, is this wall or is this moss? I'm confused by this. Yeah, it's just a mossy wall. Okay. Um, if I deploy back, I don't want to necessarily corner camp, but I do have these walls I can take advantage of. I just don't want to be close enough to his demi cannons and sackers. His deployment could come up as close as over here, but they usually. I bet you they're going to be behind those trees. Okay, I'm going to use this space here because um, I can quickly shunt over to defending some walls if need be. Um, hold on, I'm trying to shift these guys around a bit. I can't. Ugh! Okay. I have five units of that, three units of this. Let's go with my three units of this, first of all. Since they can form square, I want them on flanks. So I'm going to do a center line of of my militiamen. It's my terrain-like. Ick. I actually don't like that spot. I think this is actually going to be a better one. Um, heavy trees on that flank flank, but I can just use that to help in my fight. So I'm going to go with a line like so. Ish. That wall kind of makes the math awkward. I'm just going to put these guys on this. Oh, can I? No, that is not the kind of wall you can sit on. That is, though. Interesting. Two units of line over here, just ready to go, hidden. I'm going to do my other line. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. In square. Just to, just to be ready to prepare that flank against their artillery. All right. So I have foot artillery, which I will set up here. Uh, actually, maybe even more over here. Let's unlimber that. And I'm going to be firing cannonballs directly over the heads of my infantry, but it'll be worth it. Lots of mobility, lots of freedom of motion here. 
And once they cross that street, I can start opening fire on them. My cavalry is going to be back over here. Please. Thank you. Let's end this deployment. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. Now, did they bring the right kind of artillery? So that is foot artillery. It is moving. More foot artillery. This is a demi cannon, which is going to be useless. And here comes another regiment of horse. Okay. This works out okay. I can handle this. They have two units of cavalry on my right flank, however. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send this guy over here. I want my line infantry to ha help me handle um, cavalry. They should run. Try and get them ahead of my artillery before my artillery opens fire. They're going to be a while getting over here, so let's hit that control T as in control time. Fast forward it. Okay, you guys can walk. All right. Could be a lot of trees in the ways of my cannonballs, but I don't think it's going to matter too terribly much. All right. Let's go right for the center of their line. And boom. Okay. First shots, not surprisingly, get deflected by the terrain. Ooh. Their artillery has opened fire on my infantry as well. And it's just out of range of my infantry. Oh, you know what? That's going to be bad. I'm gonna... I don't need them in square, necessarily. I'm going to move them over into the woods. No, I want him thinking about it. Target is our, his our, uh, cavalry. Looks like his cavalry shifting over too. Killed a couple. His artillery is just out of range of mine. He doesn't have a really great angle on my guys in the woods now, which is good news. Okay, then. I'm just going to keep trading cannonballs. I'm killing a lot of horse, which is great news. Ooh, that was a good line right there. 37 left. I feel like there was another... Oh, yeah, there is. That's probably his general's unit. Target the next cavalry unit. Good shots. So without them having really much more of a cavalry threat, I can go ahead and start moving my line infantry out of that that formation. Oh, it looks like there was a second demi, demi cannon crew I didn't see before. That's good news for me. Is he shifting his infantry over? He is. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. These guys are about to get into range of my infantry. Yep. They 
You can eat the first few volleys and just evaporate and go away, and that's fine by me. Okay, they're managing to get a unit of horse out here now. What is this? What is this? Oh, just out of range for grape shot, unfortunately. I thought I was going to get some grape shot rounds in there. That'd be. I don't know what they are doing with their lines, but I'm not going to take the bait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold back here. Just start tearing up their trash infantry. almost fully reformed to take my line straight ahead with theirs. And they have superior infantry. But then I'm going to get these two guys forward and... Ooh, that was a close one. I'm going to get these two guys forward and start eating up their flank. Granted, while under cannon fire, is not going to be as much fun. I think I'm about to ignore those cavalry. I'm about to swap over to canister shot. Yeah. Reset, fire at will. Start with this unit, please. Okay, battle is joined. Oh, they got his other cavalry back as well. Alright. No, no, is that the same one? That's probably the same one. I think this is going to be a straightforward win. Yeah, he has both of his cavalry units back. That's fine. Okay, going back to round shot. Target that cavalry. All the way down the line, I seem to be doing just fine. charged in. My line infantry will handle all that charge just fine. Oof. Not without heavy casualties, though. Start moving this unit out. You start swinging these guys up. guys around to face the new threat. Artillery fire on their artillery then. So they've moved their guys up. Oh, looks like my guys got wrapped into that fight. Not necessarily what I wanted. Pull them out. Bayonets charge that. This could be going a little better. Yeah, they're bringing in more 
cavalry again. I'm gonna go ahead and charge them, or counter charge them. Oh, if I can get them while they're dispersed like this, this will be good news. Yep. Solid hit. Oh, good, that unit broke. Okay. Alright, you should shoot this group. You should shoot this group. I got their general. Their infantry starting to waver. Get the cavalry in the back end of this unit. Actually, no, wait. Unfix bayonets. Turn and shoot them. Okay, here's that rear charge. They're wavering. They're routing. Okay. I should just set them to chase. Guys, you need to turn and face that. Okay. This is just about done. I got that count, that artillery piece, gonna get the next one, and then it's just a matter of chasing off what few infantry they have left. GG Sweden. take some pretty heavy casualties, but ultimately this battle is mine. This unit here is just holding still, though. It's all he has left. Alright, cannons. Ceasefire. There it is. End battle. Heroic victory. I don't know what effect these men will have upon the enemy, but by God, they frighten me. Arthur Wellesley, Duke of Wellington, British General and Prime Minister. All right. Victory. Wow, he lost 945 men. I only lost about half. A little less than half. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Those are casualties I can afford right now. Oh! Round two, huh? Okay. Three demi cannons. Seven line infantry. Two units of horse. Okay. I'm a little bit battered, but you know what? I can take it. If Sweden had just sent both of these armies at me at once, we'd be in a much different position. Um. So I'm just looking at the terrain, not seeing many good places. I need to deploy back so as to negate the benefit of his cannons. And ooh, okay, now we're talking. I'm going to deploy back over here. I can take that house if necessary, but yeah, that's wide open enough that three cannons can do some work from right here. Well, maybe not. That hill, mm, it's iffy, but... I don't want a chance moving my guys up too much further forward anyway. So this, yeah, again, it's going to be a little bit like a corner camp, but not really. If you look at it with squinty eyes, unlimber. Let's get my general back here with the artillery. That's fine. And a mixed line of infantry just going to go down the side here. I can set these guys up 
on the wall. Like so. The double line, I guess. Oof. The rest stretched out between the two. Yeah, okay. I can work with this. That one's almost a single line at that, that width, but... Well, you know what? Okay. To cut down on that guy's strain. Gonna go more like that. That guy on the flank. Okay. I work with that. This cavalry piece will be over here, ready to go, probably to charge off on this flank. Okay. Ready deployment. Oh, look how far away he is. Okay. Okay. In that case, uh... Hmm. I have time to actually re-limber and rethink this. Um, okay. If it's gonna be over there... I can shift over to this hill. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, that's what I want. I want my artillery pieces right here. Right here, right here. Okay, they're not limbered yet. Come on. You guys ready to move? Yes, you are. Okay. Right here. Use this bit of hill here. That'll be lovely. How far back can I get them? Like that, that works. Infantry. I'll move up like here for now. It's gonna be general over here, just kind of watching. And then I'll get my cavalry up on this hill. Or, better yet, I'm gonna get my cavalry into these woods here. Or shoot. We'll just hide him right here for now. Alright, let's control time. Get a look at his artillery crews as they contemplate abandoning. Yep, they've already abandoned their positions. Great news for me. Uh, they're going to get to me pretty quickly, so I need to start having my guys run. I'm going to put this smaller group of line infantry into this building. start forming a line here. trying to get like a triple deep line pretty much consistently across this will work once my artillery gets into position I'll have them unlimber this is going to work out lovely to unlimber since they're already in position. Last cannon's getting there right now. Oh, guns fire. Alright, it's some of their artillery crews, right? Yeah. That works for me. Let's 
Let's have that last crew on Limber. They couldn't even make it to Infantry Ranch. Look at those men in the windows. Bang, bang. Cannons are opening fire. Artillery is cresting the hill. Let's go ahead and get rid of that first. Oh, direct hit. I got some shots into these buildings, too. Killed three of their horse already. Okay, 60 of them over here, and I only have 35. I need to start shooting this horse. Need to right away. Because these guys can beat my own cavalry. Just by sheer numbers. Oh, I need some cannonballs over here. That's a bank shot, too. I don't think I can make it. Yeah, I'm hitting my own building now. Nuts. Okay. Uh, but they're not going for it. They're coming around the back. Okay. They're really swinging around. They're breaking. Holy cow. That was luck. They're about to get all sorts of in my backfield. Alright, just target their wide open infantry, I guess. Chase them out. They're gone. Okay. Alright, alright. I got far luckier than I deserved there. Infantry's making their way forward in the cover of these trees, which is fine. Let's stay on round shot for now. So the line is like that tree. Oh, are they shifting back? No, here, I think they're getting confused by my use of cavalry. Let's bring him back. How badly did I damage his house? Only 18%. Alright. I want them to pull their line out more into this open field. One good shot down this line here. I can ruin this unit. They, I think they're going to try and take my flank. This keeps them out of the perfect killing field for my artillery, too. Oh, there was a hit. <laughs> Just seven of them, but okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wheeling this line over, I suppose. Like this. Yes, please continue to blob up your infantry. Please do. Artillery. Now. Oh, Gore, blimey now. Please land some shots. It's times like this, I wish I had lime shot already. What a blob this is. Sweden, you need some generals. Come on, artillery. Land a shot or two. Even that eagle is like, what the heck? Shoot better than that. Alright, relimber. Heard gunshots. Where was it coming from? Did those guys get too close or something? 
All right, if they're going to give me this hill, I will take this hill. Yeah, those will be good cannon spots. Sweden. Grow a pair. You outnumber my army. I'm just little old Denmark. I'll even give you a tree line to shoot from, huh? How about that? Controlling time here. They really don't know what to make of my formation, I think. Are they finally charging? They're finally charging. Okay, here we go. Open fire. They gave me the first shots. That's good news. Gotcha. So what I did is right before that unit of cavalry charged in, I had this group that they were reaching for form the square. Um, cavalry just does not know how to handle a form of square. I need to wheel this unit around. They're doing a fairly good job of protecting their guys in melee with my men. Um, they have the numbers advantage to make this work, too. So I'm going to try and bring my cavalry in. Um, just kind of snake them straight through here. Uh, this is going to tie them up into gunfire, so while I send the general that way, I'm going to send the other uh, cavalry in to silence this unit. Kind of have them pull through, go on to the next spot, while my artillery gets ready. Okay, cavalry charge is done. Gonna send them back. Gonna have these three units of infantry reform. I guess it's just these two. There has to be a third infantry unit in there, right? Two, three, four. No. Okay. Yeah, artillery. That's right. Holy crapola. Can you make sure those stop missing? Oh! My building! <laughs> Fire at that unit instead. <laughs> I probably killed some of my own men there. Uh -oh.
There we go. We're getting a route. And that's game. It took me a while to get my artillery into a position I liked, but they gave me this hill. Another heroic victory. Duty and dereliction guide thee back to solitude. Percy Bishelli, British poet. Okay, let's see here. Down now to just 397 men. Probably not enough for Stockholm, but are they going to bring me another piecemeal army? Okay, looks like no. And that was a turn end. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Um, where, where does this put me? My General Olin is getting better at war. Okay. I cannot have these men replenish, unfortunately. Austria has not invaded me. Let's get up here. Figure out what to do from here. I still can't see far enough ahead. Okay, now I can see it. Uh, they don't have much forces here. I, oof. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be very bold. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to combine down my infantry here into more solid groups. <laughs> I've got basically two units of regiment left, two units of line infantry left, three artillery pieces, a wounded cavalry, and a general. It's a lot of, um... What's their... They've got huge settlement fortifications. They have these three demi cannons, which are not going to be as useful inside the walls of their fort. They've got wounded infantry and cavalry, and then they've got... What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units of um, of their um, of their patchy mobs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be fortune favors the bold here. Oh man, this auto resolve is so friendly. I'm not going to demand their surrender. Or, well, you know, they, they, will, they would never accept it, but yeah, it was worth a shot. Um, I don't think I can afford to just besiege it and wait. I'm going to finish out the rest of my turn, however. I'll come back to this. Um, that's very tempting. I'm going to go ahead and start recruiting back over here so that I can be ready for the next um, Austrian invasion. Um, my walls are officially repaired. Hallelujah. Um, how much money do I have? 16 something? I'm thinking I want a unit of line and a 12 pounder foot artillery. Uh, and if they don't come in yet, I'll go ahead and get another militia w w started. Um, actually, you know what? I'll, since it's two turns, I'll just save it. This way, I have a little bit of grape shot should they find a hole in the wall and come in. They have plenty of artillery to make all the holes in the walls that they want, which has been the Austrian way lately in Copenhagen. Um, that's, that's it. That's it. That's everything. So... Today's going to be a quicker episode because I want to save this battle for next week. Yeah, I absolutely do. This is where I'm saving my game. 
and <laughs> I, I literally have only done one turn in today's episode, but it's it's been a battle heavy episode, and I want I want to start next one with a bang. I am taking Stockholm. This is something I never thought possible, not even three turns ago. But take AB the window. I'm taking this opportunity. I'm gonna create my Viking Empire. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's emp uh, Empire. Yes, Throwback Thursday Empire episode. I'll see you in the next one. See you in a week. Have a good day.